is human, to forgive is divine. We all know Gowan Road during the Nigerian Civil War, which resulted in the death of millions, most of which were civilians. He took power after the 1966 Nigerian counter coup and was overthrown in the 1975 Nigerian coup d'etat. And we also know that some Igbos still have grudge against Yakubu Gowan for the lives lost during the Nigerian Civil War. Well, it's been years now and the Igbos should forgive Gowan for anything they think he did. According to Premium Times, Gowan has a son in the 1960s from an Igbo woman with the name Edith Ike Okongu, Edith from Aro Ndikeleowu in Orumba, North Local Government of Anambra State, got pregnant for him and gave birth to his son named Musa Jack Ngudabi. Hmm. It was the product of a romance in the 1960s between General Gowan, then a military head of state, and one Igbo Damse, Edith Ike Okongu, who was said to have ended her love affairs with the ex-military ruler over the Nigerian Civil War and how it was being prosecuted under Gowan's watch. Musa Jack Ngonadi Gowan was born during the Nigeria Civil War in 1960s when Yakubu Gowan was still the military head of state and leading the Civil War. The boy was also said to have been born shortly before he married his wife, Victoria Zakari, who was a nurse. According to Premium Times, Edith Ike's parents, though from Aro Ndike Leon in Orumba, North Local Government of Anambra State, but lived in the north for over 30 years, relocated back to the east after the first wave of pogrom of 1966. The Igbos should forgive Gowan in any way they think he offended them. If not for him, they should do it for his son, Musa Jack Ngudadi, whose mother is Igbo. The Igbo should forgive Gowan. And this is the, these are the pictures of a, the son, the so-called son. Okay. Mm. So you think that is enough for Igbos, if at all, they are holding grudges against him. That is enough for them to forgive him. Well, they are the ones that will be able to say whether to forgive him or not. And let's hear people's uh, opinion concerning that. It is not about the narrow-minded issue of Gowan having a son by an Igbo woman. Gowan did nothing wrong whatsoever to the Igbo people. Hmm. They wronged themselves instead and are still doing it. Is that so? Do you pray at all? Can you face God in good conscience and repeat this deceit before him? I totally agree with your submission. Okay. Uh, what time of forgiveness the Igbos want from Gowan? Did he commit offense against the Igbos or Igbos offended Nigeria? Stop giving news that will bring another problem. Igbo declared war against their fatherland. Kill the leaders of other ethnic nationalities. Can Aousa or Yoruba go to the east and kill an Igbo leaders? Please tell your people the real reason that caused the war. If not for the present generation of the Igbos will be thinking that it was the North that caused the war. Please mind your unbalanced um, uh, points. Um, that is why we are saying let history be thought. Let people know the truth. If you are hiding the truth, people will make up what they feel like. And that is what people run with. If people don't know history, and that is why we are seeing all of these things, because a lot of people don't want some atrocities they committed to be seen or to be heard by others. That is why this issue of history is very, very important. And now there's a kind of disjointed history. You know, in our history, it is really, really disjointed because people are beginning to give their own versions of the history of what actually happened. Who is to forgive who and who and for what reason? All sites suffered loss of lives. Or was it Gowan's personal war? You look at the issue from a wrong perspective. Why should General Gowan apologized to the Eagles. Did he cause the war? Was the war his personal matter? Are you aware of the efforts the federal government under him made to prevent the war? Do you know 
all efforts to settle peacefully were rebuffed by Ojuku and other Igbo leaders. Do you know Ojuku and his fighters hit force? Please don't just say what you don't know. Mm. Some people will not believe what you are saying. Some people will agree with that. Again, finally, he has seen that Igbos have refused to finish, refused to be poor, surrender, bow as he planned. Instead, they are going higher on daily basis. Through his eyes, he will cry out blood. Mm. It seems Igbo women are valueless. Last, it was Erufai's son. Igbo women are for sale. Even, can you imagine what this one is really saying? Uh, this Igbo, Igbo comments make me laugh. What about Igbos that killed uh, Sadauna, Tafawa Balewa, and many others? My dad said, even after the war, after the war, Igbos were still killing people. So, who should apologize to who? Always claiming victims of the fight they started. Have you told other Nigerians what was the meaning of your seven years Biafra agenda? The Igbos wanted to use seven years to kill all grown-ups from other tribes and they will leave only children, then teach the, teach the children Igbo language so that only Igbo language will be spoken all over Nigeria. Unfortunately, the table tables turned around though Nigerian soldiers didn't fight them as enemy. See, they keep crying as any given opportunity. General Gowan didn't do anything wrong. He only depended uh, defended the sovereignty of this country. Igbo's general Ki Southern Kaduna Ki Sadauna Ki Tafawa Balewa Akintola and they refused to kill Azikiwe. Why? Since from that time Nigeria has lost focus. Kangaroo marriage. What goes round comes round. Is partly Igbo and partly Northern. He has every right to he has every right in Igbo land, so no need asking for forgiveness or any type. But I pray God protection upon him in Jesus' name. That is another person's opinion, seeing it from a different uh, angle. And what does the Igbo stand to gain on his son being an Igbo half? Progress, please. They just use him and dumped him. Okay, your father should empower you there, being a product of the ex-president of Nigeria. You ought to be a good boy, but it is the other way round. A son of Judas is Judas. Uh, vultures and maggots will feed. Okay, ah. It will forever haunt him. His father killed millions of eagles, and of course, his mother must have told him to. It's a pain. He will live forever with because it's on record and it cannot be erased. And those who are supposed to even bring everybody together now, they are compounding. So the whole problem, compounding to that. So guys, let's hear your opinion on who to forgive who.